Hello, my name is Dr. Carlo Oger, emergency physician and founder of edxvideo.com, a website that provides free patient medical education videos about emergency room related diagnosis. In this video, we're going to talk about the question Does this cut need stitches? The quickest answer is this If the wound is in a cosmetically important area, i.e., if the formation of scar tissue will be important to the patient, then the wound should be evaluated by a medical professional to determine not only the need for repair, but also give specific recommendations about the care of the wound to minimize infections. The second most important factor to consider is whether or not this is a wound prone to infection. Do you have any immune compromise, i.e. being a diabetic patient, on immunosuppressive drugs, or have an immune deficiency of any kind? Also, is the wound dirty? Wounds that resulted from injuries in lakes, wounds that have dirt and particles in it, wound with organic material in it. Even if these wounds do not need stitching, they will still need thorough irrigation and decontamination and antibiotic prescription to prevent infection. Another important factor to consider is there any functional deficit that resulted from the wound? Is the area around the wound numb? Can you move that part of the body without problems? Is the blood flow to the area around the wound normal? If any of the answers to the previous question is abnormal, then the wound needs emergent evaluation. The first step in answering this question is to explain the difference between an abrasion and a laceration. An abrasion is a wound caused by superficial damage to the skin. Abrasion only reach the epidermal layer of the skin. These skin wounds do not need repair. A laceration, the true definition of a laceration is a wound produced by tearing of body tissue. It is not exactly the same as a cut or an incision. The term laceration implies irregular wound edges from shearing or tearing. However, in common practice of medicine, if the wound is deeper than the epidermis, i.e., if it goes deeper than the superficial layer, and you can see fascia, fat tissue, muscle, or anything other than skin tissue, we call it a laceration. Lacerations will most often be repaired if you seek medical attention, but they not all need to be. Let me explain. This is my son Antonio when he was almost two years old. Even though you can see swelling and what looks like blood in the tissue, this injury did not separate the superficial skin layer. It did, however, injure deeper tissue causing injury to the tissue and bleeding, hematoma. No repair was necessary, but over time it did heal with scar and the tissue underneath healed as well. This picture demonstrates many different skin wounds, some very superficial, therefore abrasions, some deeper and gaping, lacerations. These were self-inflicted wounds and clearly we did not repair all of them. Some we used tissue glue, some we used stitches and some staples, and some were left alone to heal over time. This young boy was bit by a dog in the face. As you can see, the deep tissue within the wound Clearly this one needs repair. Not only is it deep, but it is also gaping. Furthermore, this laceration is through the vermium border, a cosmetically important line in the face. All wounds will eventually heal, even if no repair is done. Skin reproduces and fills the wound over time, but with healing, scar tissue will result. If cosmetic outcome of the wound is important to you, then it should be evaluated by your medical professional to determine what repair technique will yield the best outcome. Home care. Keep the wound clean. Soap and water is sufficient and there is no need for peroxide or alcohol in the wound. These are so potent chemicals that actually hurt the cells in the body that fight infection and can result in a paradoxical increase in the chances of infection. Keep the wound moist by applying antibiotic ointment. They now come mixed in with numbing medicine, so they help with pain as well. 
Once the initial healing has occurred, this product contains onion skin extract, which has been proven to help improve the cosmetic outcome of scars. Come back to the emergency department if you are developing signs of infection. The area is red, tender, warm, there is discharge from the wound, pain is increasing, there is redness spreading from the wound, or are you developing signs of systemic symptoms like malaise, body aches, and fever. This picture demonstrates the visual signs of infection discussed in the previous slide. Notice the growing redness around the wound. The tissue also looks swollen. Of course, we cannot feel the temperature by looking at the picture, but I assure you, the skin feels warm to touch compared to normal tissue. Follow up, follow up, follow up. If you had a simple repair of a wound, then follow up to remove the stitches or sutures will be sufficient. However, if your wound was high risk for infection, you must follow up within the next 48 to 72 hours for a repeat examination and to make sure no complications are developing. For other videos like this video, please visit edxitvideo.com. But remember, these are educational videos and should never replace the care or attention of a medical healthcare professional.